Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Alicia Ramstel from Boston. Hi Alicia, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thanks for having me, Meher. Thank you for being here. So her vision is to leave a legacy of career fulfillment for every individual within every institution through inspiring and education. He creates and shares her journey's aha moments, but, and he leads with compassion, communicates with education, and succeeds with clients' accountability. She inspires and educates with mindfulness at the core, inspires the answer to your why in your career clarity, and educates to answer your how in career development strategy. So Alicia, let's start from there. As a career coach yourself, as a especially career fulfillment, uh, career coach. What do you see, what do you have seen in 2023 in terms of job strategies? And is anything going to happen differently in 2024? Yes, yeah, so not too long ago, we heard about the great resignation, right? A lot of people were leaving in droves from their companies. What I'm seeing right now is first, let's talk about people that have jobs that are job searching. What I'm seeing in 2023 is the encouragement of internal talent mobility, right? So organizations are emphasizing the importance of providing opportunities to their existing employees yes. to explore different roles, different advancing their careers, whether that's in different roles, different locations, different departments, things of that nature. And that's really beneficial to both. So beneficial to the employee, but also beneficial to the organization. So an employee side, they can explore those different roles, the different departments, mm -hmm. even locations. And this helps them in their professional development, of course, in their career advancement opportunities. And they don't have to leave and go through another whole learning curve within another organization. From an organization perspective, this helps them retain top talent that they want, helps them um, you know, with all the benefits, right? So job satisfaction, employee engagement, you know, higher retention rates. Yes. And, and what it's doing is it's allowing the organization as a whole to facilitate knowledge sharing, right? So you have different people learning different departments, their responsibilities, their functionalities, and it allows the employees to gain exposure to different parts of the organization. So maybe they weren't fulfill feeling fulfilled in one part of the organization, experience another part through this internal talent mobility and all of a sudden they realize well it wasn't the company that i wasn't fulfilled in it was actually the role that i was doing so they get to explore those other opportunities so but what happens let's say if an employer comes to their supervisor hey i want a change i want more challenging role but there's nothing in the company so then how they can solve that problem if they, if we can say it's a problem Sure. So if they still want to stay within the company and there's no official roles open, what they could do is they could find a project to help on. So let's just say you're in uh, the accounting department and you want to do more uh, presentation styles and you don't get a lot of that in your role. Yeah. So within your organization, there's also a wealth strategies team and you know that they go out and they uh, explain things to prospects, clients, so forth, mm -hmm. right? So you say, okay, well, how can I take my knowledge in the accounting space within this company yeah. and set up a presentation, so a new project, mm -hmm. uh, to help with the Wealth Strategies Group? So they can build out their own presentation as their role, accounting, impacts the Wealth Strategies team and what they have to do um, and their responsibilities with external clients or other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. um, so you can take on projects as you wish, um, when you have time outside of your, you know, your normal functions within your current role. And that's if you want to stay within the organization. Yeah, um, but that's a couple of things. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Alicia. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Alicia a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us the whole week. You can like, share and comment. So tune in next time for another great question with Alicia.